Hi everyone! I'm here today to show you how to achieve this dramatic pink lips makeup look and this is the same look I wore to the L'Oreal Fashion Festival earlier this year and it has been requested by quite a few of my subscribers. So this makeup look features some dramatic eyes and of course some bright pink lips and at the end of the video I'll also show you how to achieve this very classy low ponytail hairstyle and also how I completed my outfit to go with this look so keep watching. So starting off, I'm not wearing any makeup, I've just got a moisturised face and I've also applied some primer as well to prepare for the foundation application and also just to let you guys know, I'm wearing a pair of hazel coloured circle lenses today. Now if you are going to be wearing this makeup look to like a fashion show like I did, um, there will be lots of professional photographers there to take your photos. So you do want to wear a foundation which will make you look good with the photographer's flash. So I'm just going to wear my um, Revlon Photo Ready Foundation in Natural Beige and I'm going to apply it using a damp beauty blender. And now just cover up any further imperfections with a concealer. So I'm just using my Revlon Photo Ready Concealer in light medium and I'm just going to um, pat it in with my fingers. And finally, just set everything with a powder. So I'm just using my Revlon Photo Ready Translucent Finisher and just applying it with a stippling brush. So for this look, I'm going to make my eyebrows look more dramatic and darker than normal and also I'm going to exaggerate my arch by making it longer as well. So I'm just going to define it using um, my Mickey Eyebrow Liner in brown. Now before applying any eyeshadow, I'm just going to prime my lids first. So I'm just trying out my new NYX eyeshadow base. This is in skin tone. I'm just going to pat it in with my fingers and I'm going to apply it all around my eyes. So first of all, just taking my Coastal Sense ABA Warm Palette and just selecting a shimmery white shade. So I'm just going to use this one right here. And then taking the spongy applicator that came with the palette, I'm just going to use it to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and also under the brow bone as well. And next, just selecting a light shimmery silver shade like this one and taking um, a shading brush. We're just going to apply that all over the lid. And lastly, taking a darker shimmery grey shade like this one and just using um, a small flat shading brush, we're going to align that um, on the outer half of our bottom waterline. So for this look, I want my eyeliner to look very sleek and smooth. So I'm just going to use Rimmel's Glam Eyes Liquid Eyeliner. Um, this is in Black Glamour. And I'm just going to create a very exaggerated and big wing at the end. And now I'm just going to apply a pair of very dramatic and full false eyelashes to my upper lash line. So I'm just going to use these ones that I bought from eBay. So 
So this step is definitely optional, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these special eyelashes that are specially made for the lower lash line. Um, I also got these from eBay. I'm just going to cut one in half. I'm going to apply half to the outer corner of my lower lash line to really open up my eyes. And now I'm just going to contour my face to give a more definition. So starting off with my nose, I'm just going to go back to my Coastal Sense 88 Warm Palette and just selecting um, a light matte brown colour like this one and just using a flat shading brush like this. I'm just going to lightly use that colour and sweep it down the bridge of my nose to define it. And now just taking a blending brush, um, just blend the colour out so that it's not so obvious. And now to contour my cheeks, I'm just going to use my Revlon Powder Blush in Sandalwood Beige. And I'm just going to take um, an angled blush brush. I'm going to sweep that colour from the top of my cheekbones downwards. And finally, I'm just going to highlight parts of my face using my Inkblot Highlighting Powder and also using um, a stippling brush. So I'm going to sweep that on the apples of my cheeks, on my chin and down my nose. So before applying any lip colour, I've applied some foundation to my lips to act as a base. So first of all, I'm going to line my lips using a pink lip liner. So I'm just using one from Savvy. This is in Tulip. And finally, just taking a bright pink lipstick. So I'm just using Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick. This is in Fuchsia Fusion. And just using a lip brush, we're just going to use it to fill in our lips. And now that we're all done with the dramatic pink lips makeup look, I'm just going to quickly show you guys how to achieve a simple but very elegant um, low ponytail hairstyle, which is perfect to go with this look. Now this hairstyle is most suitable for girls who don't have a short fringe. Um, so all you have to do is sweep your hair back and make sure it's very smooth and just tie it into like a low ponytail at the back. And then just take a bit of the hair from the bottom and wrap that around the hair tie so that it looks like your hair tie is made out of your own hair. And then just using some bobby pins, just pin that hair down. And as you can see, I have a lot of flyaway, so just spray that down with some hairspray. So for the outfit and accessories to go with this look, you really want to stick with black, white and silver colours to keep it nice and simple. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell you what I paired with this makeup look. So for my outfit, I'm just wearing this very simple long sleeve black dress with these shoulder pads and I think it's very Michael Jackson inspired with these sort of silver chains on the shoulders. So I also painted my nails this bright pink colour to really match my lips and I kept my jewellery to a minimum. So I'm just wearing these black drop earrings and for my shoes, I'm wearing this pair of really funky and really super high heels. Um, I call these my Lady Gaga shoes because they really do remind me of her and I'll just show you guys the complete outfit now.
So that is my completed dramatic pink lips makeup look. And as I said, this is a great look to wear if you want to attend a fashion or runway show um, because it is quite edgy. And of course, you can wear this to clubbing or to parties as well. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you all soon. Bye!